I'm Dana K. White, and today I am going to tell you the truth, the really not exciting truth about cleaning tips and tricks. I've got two squeegees here. This is my shower. Can you see the reflection to see that that's glass behind me? And this glass has looked fantastic, amazing, wonderful, and has never had to be scrubbed and scraped or anything like that for two and a half years. It has stayed clean. The only thing I've had to do to keep it clean is to use a squeegee every single time we take a shower. Without fail, never ever missing, always, 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 we use the squeegee to squeegee it after every single shower, okay? So that's my tip which is great to know, right? Except that it doesn't fulfill the desire that I have when I hear cleaning tip or cleaning trick, right? Like, I'm just gonna be honest, this isn't the case for a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna watch this video and go, okay, how do people not know this stuff, right? I'm just telling you, for those of us who struggle, we tend to be always searching for the tip or trick that's going to mean that things just stay clean and it doesn't actually require effort, okay? So I'm gonna tell you today the truth about cleaning tips and tricks. I actually have two squeegees. This is the one that I've had since the day that we moved in. And then about a year-ish ago maybe, I was using it one day and I was irritated that I was using it because every single time I squeegee this shower, I'm never excited about squeegeeing it. It always feels like work. I often have to remind myself to actually do it because I'm about to leave the shower and I'm like, oh, that's right, I have to squeegee it. But I know the impact that it has and so I am determined to do it. But it's never fun, right? And so I was using this and I was irritated as I was using it because that's me. And I thought, what if I had a squeegee that was as big as this entire glass panel? What if I had a squeegee where I only had to do one swipe on each glass panel and then I would be done? That would save me so much time. That would be an amazing trick. A trick that would make this not feel like work anymore, right? So I looked on Amazon and the biggest one I could find is this, which is not the full size of this glass panel, okay? But this is the biggest one I could find. I was like, okay, well, it's, it's gotta be better, right? It's gonna cut the time in half. And so I ordered it and I used it and it didn't work very well. Like, I don't know what it was about it, but it was harder to handle. It left a whole bunch of little like chunks where it kind of like, I don't know what it was, but like it did not do a good job the first time that I used it. Now I decided, I'm gonna figure this thing out because I am going to make this thing work, make this amazing trick idea that I have work. Um, my husband, a couple weeks later, I saw him using this one and I went, oh, so you, and you don't use this one? And he was like, nah, I used it once and I was like, Shh, no, <laughs> that doesn't work right. And so he just keeps using this one. That's why we have two, which whatever it takes for us to get the job done and we also have the room in the shower, it's not like it's, you know, a pile of these things, but the reality is, this is the truth about most tips and tricks. People like me tend to want a cleaning tip or cleaning trick to be something that makes it feel like we're not actually cleaning, okay? We want the thing that prevents this from becoming an issue ever to be so easy that it's instantaneous, that it's void of work, whatever. And so we're always looking for that cleaning tip and trick. And I think that those words, tips and tricks, which I'm sure you could differentiate between the two, but those words just make us feel like there's got to be a better way out there. And in reality, the truth is, it's always gonna be work. But this work of using these, even though it's irritating, is so much better than the work of not doing these and then ending up with 
a glass door that looks horrible and I'm embarrassed if anybody ever was to come in here and it takes like hours to scrape and scrub and clean. And I know these things because we had a, it was a frosted glass shower door in our old house before we actually had that uh, shower redone. But like it was, it was gross. It was what happens when you don't squeegee every day, right? And so the reality of tips and tricks is this. They're not actually magic. It's not a magic trick. So I personally call the things that I teach strategies just because I know what happens in my brain when I hear tip and trick. Oh, it's gonna be easy, it's not gonna feel like work. And that's just never true. So they're not magic and they do always have a learning curve, okay? And that's where a lot of the frustration comes in when people like me hear of a cleaning tip or trick and we think, oh, oh yeah, great, and we give it a shot and we're like, yeah, either that didn't work the way that I thought it was gonna work, or it didn't, it wasn't fun the way it looked like it was gonna be fun, or whatever. And we're like, ugh, it's a learning curve. This took me a while because I was determined to use it. I was like, okay, what? I went to the reviews of this, and there was there were a couple people who were like, it does not really work that great. And then there was somebody who was like, if you know how to use a big squeegee, then it works just fine. And I'm like, that's not helpful. Tell us how to use the big squeegee. I don't know exactly how I use it other than it takes a little more like care and control and I go a little bit slower, but it's worth it to me to do this. My husband, he was like, I'm not using that. I'll use this, it's fine, whatever. He'd rather use this one. So that's the truth about cleaning tips and tricks. There's always a learning curve. It takes time to figure it out and it's never gonna be magic. It's never going to not feel like work, but generally cleaning tips and tricks are the things that you do that are a smaller amount of work that prevent the big buildup to a lot of difficult work, okay? So I have another example for you. In this house too, I know I've got a glass shower and we have the fulfillment of my life dream. We have a pool. And it's a really old pool. It is not fancy, but I love it so much, okay? And I know that people who have pools would always say they're a lot of work. Well, they were right, okay? <laughs> they were very right. Um, and there are things, you know, that we've put in place and we have a pool guy, you know, who comes and does the chemicals for us and stuff like that. So that's great. But one of the things that has been like, oh, this is super not fun, has been the cleanup of the pool area before swimming season, right? Like it just gets grimy and gross and blah, blah, blah. And it's dirty and stuff from the winter. And so like to get it ready for we're actually gonna wanna come out here and swim, it's work, right? So the first year I did the big cleanup, I got out my power washer, which I have a video where I talked about using my little bitty power washer that I love so much. I got out my power washer and I got my, um, my shop vac, okay? And so I would power wash and I would shop vac. So I would power wash some you know, mud, dirt, whatever into a spot as best I could and then I would shop vac that up. Well, the next year when I went to go do the big cleanup, I was like, power washer, that's right. Oh yeah, the power washer, that was such a big help for me last year. So I get out my power washer and I'm like, this, is, this doesn't seem like it's going as well. And I had been working for a while before I realized, oh, that's right, I used my shop back, right? Like there is a learning curve. And when I was only doing this big job, you know, once a year, like the big actual cleanup from winter job, I had forgotten what the, you know, process was that actually worked the year before. And I was like, oh, I've got to go get my, shop vac out because that's what I'm missing. Well, then I came out with the shop vac and I realized, oh, you know, it would be even better. What if I shop vac first and then power wash so that I have less dirt to be spraying everywhere with the power washing and then shop vac up what the power washer got up. And that was even better. So I had done something the first year. The second year I needed to build on that, but because it had been so long since I'd done it before, the building on it was harder than it should have been, right? And then I added something else. I made it a little bit easier. 
And then I realized in my third year, what if I actually just sweep up into piles all around the, the pool and then shot back just those piles and then come in and power wash. And so now I have a system that is better because of the years that I've done it. So there is a learning curve and the only way to make tips and tricks for cleaning actually feel like tips and tricks, things that make it easier, is to go ahead and do the work and do it consistently, okay? Because here's the other bad thing about cleaning tips. They are generally about lots of little maintenance that prevents the job from getting bigger, okay? A squeegee, no matter how big it is, has no effect, and I know this from experience, has no effect on a shower door that has soap scum and hard water deposits and all of those things that happen a lot where I live, right? Like I live in an area where we get a lot of hard water deposits and soap scum. This has no effect on that. So if it is a recovery effort, a recovery cleaning job, the tips and tricks rarely have any actual impact. And that's very, very discouraging and disappointing for someone like me. Tips and tricks are generally the things that keep it from turning into a big job. It's the same as dishes. Do you know how to keep from having a big pile up of dishes in your sink? Um, do the dishes. Like, all the time. The way to not have dishes in your sink is to always put them straight in the dishwasher. But if the dishwasher needs to be emptied, then you have to empty them to put the dirty dishes in there. And so it's not magic, but it is a tip and a trick that if you will keep every single small dish done, you will never end up with a big pile of dishes. So let go of the magic. When you hear the words tip or trick, realize it is rarely giving you any kind of advice for a recovery situation. Okay, tips and tricks are what people come up with when they have been doing the job consistently because by doing the job again and again and again, then they figure out, oh, if I will make this teeny tiny tweak, it sure makes a big impact. If I will do this thing a little bit different, it sure keeps it from turning into a big job. So the people who are giving you tips and tricks are the ones doing the thing consistently, which means they're not talking about a big recovery thing. And I'm so sorry. I will give you my one best trick though, to not have to squeegee after I shower. It's to watch for when my husband is shaving because I know that he's going to get in the shower right after he shaves. And so I get in the shower first and then I'm like, oh, are you about to get in? Okay, then I'll just leave it. <laughs> That's a trick, right? But it doesn't work all the time because I don't always, you know, catch it in time. Okay, I hope this was encouraging instead of discouraging uh, because truth and understanding and accepting truth will take you so much farther than wishing for tricks and magic, right? Okay. All right. I will talk to you all next week. Bye.